Grab your bags, we're going to the Punjab state. Ladies and gentlemen, Cham Kila Amar Singh. The record-breaking Punjabi singer. Being played by a record-breaking Punjabi singer and actor now, apparently, you know? I think he's always acted, but yeah. Yeah, we're seeing him in a serious role. I do not know what his involvement was in terms of singing. I do know the music score and the music director was made by A.R. Rahman. Is the same director as Rockstar, Jab We Met and Tamasha. With these types of movies, of course the channel is all about music. I would recommend you. You would uh, benefit. Yeah, from uh, get, Greatly. getting the memberships and being able to then sync up your movie to ours or you need is your own copy of the movie and then you get access to all the uncut music reviews which then you get a much better listening experience you also get access to the community most importantly you get our more in-depth sort of review because there's not as many cuts uncut unfiltered correct okay so he was famous here already Well, the excitement is real. Mr. Amar Singh. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> That's actually how Diljit Dosanj feels. Just anyways. rolls. Yeah, he, he rolls like that. Oh, I recognize her. Chopra. <gasps> well, I guess I guess that that explains the ending. Straight up blood. Nice directing. Damn, that channel gives me goosebumps. The fourth wall break. Hey yo. What a Oh wild that is blood. Opening. It's blood. It's blood. Yeah, because it's a big mystery. His assassination. Dude, I swear to you, I did not expect I was like, oh, who is she? Dead. <laughs> Why are you getting spanked in the middle of the class? Ouch. Oh my god, this fucking movie is twisted as balls. Well, do you know how people say you see your life before you die? You They're already dead. Everyone's fucking dead. See, even when they talk though, they do talk that lifted um, and without much effort. Oh, All see, songs performed, performed by Dilijit, like Dilijit. Amparinetri Chopra. Well, talk about a shock factor. My God, beautiful! Wow. I read, I read somewhere that the Punjab State Special Forces is like one force to be reckoned with. Well, they're uh, historical warriors. Yeah. Mohit Chauhan. Ah. He, and Kumar Mishra. Ah, 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 ah. This is twisted, cause why am I getting down to this? Woo! Ah, okay, ah, so right, that was part right, of his right. thing. He was quite... You horny dirty mother... <laughs> right, right. So he had a, a, charming... a big following, but at the same time, I can understand why people must have hated him. I see, I see, I see, mm -hmm. I see, I see. That was Chamkila. Wow, how awesome is that? Oh, yes, the visual effect. So as many followers as he had, he also had a ton of haters. Chamkila. Hey, yo. <laughs> I like the Chamkila guy. This is just everyday reggaeton for you, like, you know? Indeed, yeah. <laughs> this is just reggaeton. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if maybe other people think this is like quite... Oh, how can singers be talking about that, bro? Oh! Ay! Oh, that was so fire! What a switch up! That's incredible! Ooh, do you see the altos? Advantageous language also for music. Also, can we just have a moment for how incredible this opening is? It has taken you through a whole roller coaster. So a curious little man, yeah. Yeah, from where we're from. You know, from a Roman Orthodox Catholic society, like the Latin one. There's a lot <laughs> All of songs were about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. 
over sexualized lyrics that's every day that's cool that they start backwards i was quite worried yeah, yeah, that it yeah. was spoiled for me right yeah but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, look where he is and look where I am. Mm. Oh, so maybe it's by the way to the top. See, Cable. that's what I'm saying. Like, who's, who's telling tell? the story? Right, right, right. The maybe story. we'll see it through different characters' lenses. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> that's my problem. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this was in the trailer. Tumbi. As a capella as he goes. I, oh, I love, I love that, that guy, man. Go to I'm so it. impressed by him. And acting so far so good. We've seen, we've seen one scene, but I'm, I'm bought. Well, we've seen... Well, I, I could not stand Lady Gaga in that Gucci movie. And that was the first time I saw her act. I think perhaps also the fact that he was from uh, like a poorer area Helps. and the vulgar aspect of things kind of, you know, oh, I see. was implied and people didn't like that. <laughs> Me? Hi, my lyric. What? Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, it's Punjab, it's Punjab. It's but you, Punjab, see, Punjab. you see the vocal break? That is so organic. I love that. I thought they had put Hindi lyrics to also translate it for other people. Amitabh Bachchan in the poster. It does look like him, doesn't it? He was a great man, Rahul. Great man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please, calm down. <laughs> ah, opportunities came. <laughs> ah. Hey, buddy. You want to sing? <laughs> Do it, man. <laughs> what have been a fire name? Um, Sandila. Sandila. Chamkila, everybody! <laughs> Chamkila, they're here! The fucking gave him his name! Chamkila! Nice to hear Who in her cares? volume in the background. Who cares about that? <laughs> we don't want you. Fuck off, mate. Let him do his thing! Yes! Yes! <laughs> so maybe the rivalry between him and Jinda begin to grow, begins to grow. Oh, could be. Sheesh! <laughs> but you see, that was either recorded, live room recorded, because it has this really vintage feel to it. Yeah. <laughs> I've chopped so many. <laughs> Turn many girls into women. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because this scene feels like the scene where he he gets murdered. Yeah. But we're just seeing the roles reversed and it's sort of like an alternate universe where it all began and that's also how it all ends. But they're not gonna want him. Jinda. Chamkila. Chamkila. Yeah, I see it. I see it. That's one rowdy crowd. Yeah. Uh, you see this discombobulated time frame. Where's he got broken leg? Yeah, what the fuck? What did we miss? Oh, A bunch of shit. Apne chamkile ki baat ho rahi hai yahan. Maut ke baad insaan kitna pyara lagne lagta hai. Hmm. Nahi. Apna But why why is he so uneasy though? <laughs> Well, the rival, the rivalry must have been public. People started favoring one singer over the other. I kind of, I kind of like seeing this type of storytelling. It's quite Me cool. Me too. It's cool, right? It's very organic. It's and very it... true to what would happen in a situation like this. Correct. And it doesn't suffer from the Christopher Nolan syndrome. It doesn't. Time discombobulation and making the audience feel lost. Sonia or Chamkila. That's amazing. Now people are gonna start to get left behind. 
चेतावनी की वजह से यहाँ मैं खड़ा हूँ इसको मैं उस्ताद जी मानता हूँ चंकलेट मानी घर खाने का काम छोड़ गया है हसन चोर चक्कों के साथ रह गया तू हां गाने वालों के साथ वेल जस्ट इज बैड कला बारा जी जिंदा जिंदा वेल या वी आर गोइंग टू टाई अ हंगर सो बुद्धू बना रहा हूं मुझे तू ये उसी की कमाई है नाइस तेरे लिए रखी थी वेरी नाइस It's rare when Indian movies or movies from the Indian film industry utilize the acoustic guitar like this. Oh, those are the original pictures. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just clocked that. That's a sick transitions as well. Yeah, live from recordings. I think they probably did that for the film too. <laughs> too funny, man. <laughs> He just loves it. Maybe that's why Punjabi music transitions so well into the urban scene too. Oh yeah. Mentally rhythmical, never afraid of being outside of norms. Mhm. Mm oh cool. With the posters. Look at him being so stiff. So advantageous Those to have custody. See? That's all life in the moment, baby. N nice choice by AR as well. With the background chords, dissonant enough but not disruptive. Intense enough to create the mourning effect, the realization of death. See, the harmonium can be such a daunting instrument. I've always said it. I think it's it's such a double-edged sword. So much fear now, eh? Because who would dare do that to someone so loved? Well, he was also very controversial. They were wanting to Yeah, but they're learning example, that he they... was breeding hate. Oh, they are armed. Oh no, it's the police. Police. It's the police. Police. It's just because they left a nobody alive on the scene. Cool, the sound production. <laughs> Lois smiling. Oh, so he always stood up for his friend. Oh, sare ke sare bhi aap hi azam kar jate ho. Ki milte ho iski wajah se. Kitne ka naam mil gaye isko? Puchho zara. Asi comrade bande ya. Bardasht nahi kar sakte. Mhm. Mm it's very label like. Yeah, it's very much like a label. 360 deal stamp. <laughs> Probably worse than a 360 deal. Yeah, you speak. Oh, that's why artists have managers, man. Correct. He does the music. He writes the song. Also, small town. No many connections. Headbutt right there. Good man. So he always had his principles. Oh, he went back. Socks. Or no, he didn't. He's fighting with it. Just like that. Some people got that dog in them. Nice, nice, yes, nice. Yes. Good transition. Any query? Hello. Oh, I saw so shot there. That's a swear word, is it? <laughs> Freaking hell. That's a wild thing to say. <laughs> With all that milk. If you're deeper though, what a nice compliment. You're the most attractive when you're feeding my child. That's weird. <laughs> oh, in all your motherly qualities. You still hot, mummy. <laughs> oh, so they had oh, they a lot of challenges. 
एक लड़की है जिन्होंने उनके साथ अखाड़े किए हुए हैं परनीति चोपड़ा परनीति वो सुन ना कुमारा योर बैचलर अंदर जाओ ग्रीमेंट्स एंड फॉर पेमेंट्स नहीं ना देखते अगर ठीक रहा तो आगे बढ़ेंगे और आप मेरी बात सुनो जी पहले नहीं है कोई नया कलाकार है चमकीला और आपको बहुत बड़ी तोप हो नहीं नहीं ठीक है नहीं नहीं लड़की ने जान आई लाइक हाउ लाइक ही इज प्रॉपर लाइक ही इज लाइक कम ऑन व्हाट डू यू थिंक टिकी व्हेयर इज इट टी आई लव टिकी व्हाट व्हाट हैव टू टिकी कम ऑन चाय Hi. <laughs> I like the chick. Bro is whipped. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know that's very raw. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell wrong with this motherfucker? Get out. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> also good acting. Yeah, she's good. I like her. Aapne koi geet suna mera? Suna hai. She has, yeah. yeah. That's why she's so nervous. Kaun sa wo? Baapu sada gum ho gaye. And cuz there are bit, you know. She's like a super child. Yeah, girl. she's like <laughs> So you got be singing reggaeton, you know. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful blend of voices. And what what huge contrast, right? Vocally with the lyrics as well. Mm. It's so tender vocally, yet so poignant. <laughs> yeah, like in Latin America, this is very common. It probably gets even worse. Actually. It gets worse. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about the like, creamy breasts. <laughs> that was next level. Other things, though. Yeah, creamy ass. Also, I know which lyrics I'm learning next, yeah. <laughs> For the Punjabi chicks, yeah. Yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl, <laughs> she's having to sniff all of that. Okay, <laughs> no. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Nice. I like I that they like caught this. the tension aspect of it on a studio in comparison to the live setting. They are close. Which, which, which they one? are raised. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh huh. Hey. If you're gonna squish, you're gonna have to squish in here. You see, their relationship is so. So tender Timid, and so tender, si sensitive and completely antagonic to what they're doing artistically. I thought Chupa meant fuck. I think this is in Hindi though. Wow, that's beautiful. Also, I just love the fact that even in the in the storyline progression of the film, it feels discombobulated as this song, it, the placing of the song in the timeline. Right. There's a contrast to this dreamlike feel. Because you know of the crew reality so openly. Nice yeah. AR. <laughs> Girl, we've all gotten those jitters sometime in our lives. Well, look at the filtering. You get a lot of like lens flares and. Well, very much on purpose. This is. Yes, the broken uh, focus. Which I think is gonna work really well when they take it away. Correct. Ah. <laughs> Shish. What the hell? Jodi ka tam. Isi tarah baap hai na. Chamkile ko bol mere se shaadi kar le. What the? Aur koi tarika hai jodi bachane ka? Oh, he'll do it for love. Yeah, well there, there's already some cooking there. How they wished. Probably more romantic in this illicit way though. Like Romeo and Juliet. They both die at the end. Yeah, oh that's a shame God, it happened it like this is rushed. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean at least we know at least there was love. But there the there's actual pictures though. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you those songs are going to haunt you, bro. Hey, what's up? <laughs> They oh. know you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody come to the party. Uh. <laughs> And now we're married though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And the freaking boobs too creepy in the background. <laughs> It's my new favorite line. I have to learn how to say that in Punjabi. 
They did get married in secret. Yep. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, How wow. dare he? This has taken a proper Latino turn, not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it's proper Latino. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's, a, that's why I think this is still a cold case. Because he had already got a bunch of enemies. Yeah, it won't be approved. Yeah, wait, because uh -huh. it's like a religious matter. It's not like a... I thought so too, but you know. Oh, right. He began to get corrupted by fame. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Says Daddy Yankee on the floor. Nah, don't compare him to Daddy Yankee. No, 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 Yankee no, no, wasn't no, married no, no. twice, bro. No, 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 I know, but you know, just saying. But this is very common amongst the Latin urban artists. Not that they get married twice. <laughs> While still getting they married. They get married seven million fucking times and divorced all the time. Toma. Aha. They just made a martyr. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. 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 Yep. Yeah. Well, he grew what up in curious, the chaos. Yeah, what a curious individual then. Yeah, but he grew up in the chaos. See, his moral bar was already crooked from the beginning. Curious also, because I'm interested to see how this goes. Because is he doing all of this for the sake of his music? Is he perhaps that jaded as an artist when it comes that his music and his creative nature comes before everything else, even his morality? love and his personal responsibility religions community is it that that blinded by his own creations because hmm. he doesn't seem to be a bad person per se is this all a character is this something for his inner freedom something that he never got to explore just like how he did for his father i want to hear her album <laughs> He's a great actor. I really wish. Very you impressed, know? man. I'm really, really submerged in the storyline here. He's he phenomenal. Very impressed by the by the two of them. Storytelling also aspect of it. She's great. Keep symbolizing red with her, which could be, you know, actually true love here. Nate, <laughs> You see, he's just trying to escape. See, all for the reality. sake of his art. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you see, it's just such a complicated individual. And then you had fame, money. All your problems more just magnify. Tiki, I'm single. Oh, I'm glad she has her own values, though. Yes. Well, she has a right. I love that you're gr seeing her growth as a, as a person, too. <laughs> I love Tiki. Tiki's the best. Great. Shout out, Tiki. Yeah, it's the hot new shit, man. I yearn to squeeze you in my arms. Him and his tumbi. This is very much AR here as well. Oh, nice. Oh, look how cool. Oh, they put so much love into this film. Oh, four years later. <laughs> A bit of reggaeton, look. Hi, hi. 
Hi, hi, hi. I love his voice. This is a core reggaeton at his best. Is it the Mojit or AR? Sometimes it sounds no, exactly it the same. No, I think it is Mojit. They want to hear fun. Vibrant, yeah. Also, no wonder why in the hood... Party, pe party music was so popular. It's, yeah. Hi, hi. Aha, wow, this is what we saw at the beginning. Ah, the chaos. Mehum panja. The slow motion Schneider style is so freaking cool here. She's pregnant. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> yeah. I want to have to buy I another just one. I just want one. Yeah, so he just became huge. Such a symbol. Not for just Punjabi. for his music, but for what he actually meant for, for the, the people. people. Mehum Punjab. This is the militia that they were all referring to at the beginning? Maybe. Reputation is everything. This is the first guy he was singing with, by the yeah, way. Yeah, Jinta, you know, yeah. yeah. It's in the trail as well. The Elvis of Punjab. What the? UK, US, Canada. My God, he was yeah, selling best everywhere. Selling, best selling Punjab artist worldwide. <laughs> Imagine if he was in the internet era as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. प्रॉब्लम <laughs> Fair enough. Well, it's just experience, you melon. Bro's just culturally shocked. She obviously has has an agenda. agenda. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Relax, man. They will square up as well. <laughs> yeah, slap, slap someone. Hmm. Yeah, he became an icon. The voice of the small. Oh no. Yeah, you would presume, right? As soon as the mainstream media gets a hold of it. Because he was kicking ass in the yeah, 80s and the 90s, right? Yeah, he was right? so popular. Still is now, I guess. Okay, so morality becomes a bit more jaded. Yep. Baby? Yes, go, Grandma. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. So it's. So that is the point that we're making at the beginning, right? Yeah. He did have a large female fan base, especially in a time where perhaps what they're alluding to is secrecy. Very cool. Nice. She's good. You all know that, innocent. Yeah, and it's something that women from all ages and generations kind of came together to speak about secretly. You know, both men and women want to feel desired. I think that time was so much brazen for men to express it than women, so. They're good, though. I like their voice. Also, the mixing of specific voices seems to be very different. I think it's to preserve that organic nature of the whole scenes. Let me go bang, bang, slam, bang. How would you chop the jungle? <laughs> nice! <laughs> you plunder my body. This is like the first bad boy song. <laughs> <in Punjab. laughs> Literally. <laughs> Nice, come on. The directing and visual effects of this film are so beautiful. Very cool, yeah. Because they make you feel really included in the cultural aspect of things. And somehow, I feel like that this could have happened back home in South America. True, true, true. You know? True. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, a big tragedy happened. He's a roof breaking artist. Oh, this is interesting. Vocals, though. Things have started to fall apart. He's becoming the destruction of his own community. Imagine that. Actual warnings. Death threats. Yeah, no, from the military group. Yeah, death threats. 
खतरनाक मार डालेंगे वो ही नहीं गा सकते तो करेंगे क्या मुझे तो लगता है अपने मित्रों का ही काम है नकली भी तो हो सकती है चिट्ठिया वैसे भी मार थोड़ी देंगे यार साथी Brother, come back. <laughs> oh, they follow him. See what's up. My income tax department. Oh, he's from the tax department. He's just an official. He just works for. What department? Carrying. He's like department. What department? Department <laughs> he's from of the department. Lagan. God save me. Lagan, my child is not here. Bad job, Kilaji. That's fine. Okay. He's like, what the, the fuck? <laughs> Sir, what? Sir, I'm in deep shit. <laughs> Please help me. Help, help me. me. <laughs> Explain this to me, sir. Oh. 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 Department of Income Tax Plan. Have you have you claim? Are you paying yeah, taxes? Yeah, I'm paying taxes for that. Just please help me. Income tax, give me. Income tax. Do you pay it? I said, first put money inside and don't worry about it. I talked to some people from my knowledge. Some people from my knowledge. The warriors, sick. Hmm. They are sick. Huh? What? They are sick. They're fairly healthy, mate. No, no, no. The religion is sick. Yeah, they look fairly healthy, mate. <laughs> the actual name of the religion is sick. Yeah. Uska kar mai tujh par. He doesn't get it. Halke gaane na gaya kar. Galti ho gayi thi. Aage se kabhi nahi karunga. Mujhe maaf kar do. Main maaf kar do. Main bhi banda hu yaar teri tarah. Oh. Maaf to sirf wo kar sakta hai. Hmm. Usse bol. Ek aur baat hai. Ye mera ek रिकॉर्ड पहले से कंपनी के पास पड़ा है इसके बाद ऐसे गाने ना बनाना ओह oh, इंटरेस्टिंग वादा करता हूं सच्चे मन से वादा करता हूं मैंने एक फैसला किया ओके okay. धार्मिक रिकॉर्ड बनाऊंगा ओह आहा व्हाट सेड द मोमेंट टू डू इट संभाल को भी नो सेड गेट वन सून यू आर सिक शट अप ही एक्चुअली ट्रांजिशंस कम ऑन ही गेव हिमसेल्फ टू गॉड ब्रो इज एक्चुअली दैट द यंकी Just that is Yankee's not dead. Naam dapal an mari jinde meri e. Jab ke liye ka dharmik record bhi black hone lage. Wow. Yay. Three four times. So then let me guess. People then misinterpret this. Apni bhi mar raha hai. Ah. Ah so they started lowering their guard. His head is on the line here people have mercy Fir mujhe bola gaya ke tu bahut kharab hai chamkila bahut halke geet gata hai band kar ye kaam to main maan gaya ab main aise geet nahi gata hu He wanted to please the crowd the artist conundrum No Woo another in trouble Oh, I see. Okay, so <laughs> he kind of foretold his whole ending. Fuck. It's just So horrible. then we kind of know who kills him then. I guess it's not confirmed. But well, but you have suspicions. Yeah, right? the, the conspiracies would spiral. Yeah, cuz there are more party songs, right? Akhado par log halke gaano ki maang bhi kar rahe the. Aur force walon ki kadi nazar bhi uske upar रिश्ता क्या तेरे ना आतंकवादियों के साथ गाने क्यों बनाते हैं इनके लिए सुन ओके आई लाइक द ड्रामेटिक स्कोर अ कम ये जो मेल मिलाप तेरा चल रहा है ना इन आतंकवादियों के साथ उसे बंद कर दे वो खत्म कर दिया जाएगा तुझे वो भी यही कहते हैं खत्म कर देंगे आप भी यही कह रहे हो तो एक काम करो साहब 
अपना ही आपस में फैसला कर लो किसने खत्म करना है बेटे एक बहाना दे रहे तेरी ये मुराद भी पूरी कर देंगे हम and that's why these conspiracies are so wild yeah there's no telling for sure but why would they think he was aligned with the militants well because everybody needs a side to pick maybe because, because he was always... urban music right he was sort of there's always got to be two sides to the story why would the police like, think I mean, he's I mean... allied with the militants with the militia why why would i think that because i don't know i, I don't know i don't know yahan pe baar aa jayegi aur yahan pe kursiyan kursiyan to hoti nahi hai zyada hame aap par punjabi to hai na यहां पे आ जाएगी टेबल खोल ले और बुला चल किले को आई फॉर या सो दे वर ऑलरेडी बीइंग फ्रिकिंग अल्ले अल्लाह सस्ती गाल पर जी मैं कह जी बेस्ट हो आप हम तो आपके मुरीद है भाजी माय मैन वाज लिविंग इन फियर दिल के अंदर की बात ना बाहर निकाल कर रख देते हो आप ओके आई आई नो व्हाई द पुलिस थॉट ही वाज साइडिंग विद द मिलिशिया ही चेंज द स्टाइल बिकॉज़ द रूमर्स got spread mm-hmm. so he, they thought he had sided with them then did everybody was out to kill him oh my gosh ye bahar bolna nahi aur na aap jaise ek aur toli aa jayegi paise mein oh befikr ho chamkila pa ji the extortion bra brother you need to leave and get armed security ye duniya ye duniya aisi hai babbi yahan pe aapke murid aate hain dhamki dene to ye jo sab hamare paas hai fuck me i hate that piano it's tensing my ass right no damn the way i'm clenching my butt cheeks right now i feel like he died by his own greed if that makes sense She knows she's gonna get you killed. I mean, he got her killed as well. That's such a good shot, man. It's fabulous. They he saw do. this. He's yeah. seeing the story end. That's the audience is seeing the. The story develop. Yeah, bro, should have moved. Canada, you know. Bro, the tension and I know what the ending is. Oh. Good storytelling. I love the real footage with the the ones with the film that's so cool. Give me that. Make it rain. Nikki mat mangte hain. Bahrain ke baad to Tikki ko Canada nahi le gaya. Shayad usko Tikki ke iradon ke bare mein pata chal gaya tha. Oh no. Uh-huh. Why though? Is it? Why though? You just a misunderstanding. Rick Tika back. I want to hear his his side of the story. Canada. Should have stayed there, blood. Oh, I love that entry to that scene. Toronto. Toronto, son. When's Champkila going to drop the Drake beef? <laughs> Oh. That's us. Amita Bachan. Amita Bachan. Amita Bachan hai yahan pe. Course mein. Amit ji ka show bhi hum nahi karaya tha ji. Oh my gosh. Bro, he's a god. Par aaj aapka show hai na ji yahan par. Oh, dream accomplished, mate. Wahi ja rahe hain. Oh my god. Dude. Ab Amit ji ka show hua tha ji hall mein. 137 seats lagani padegi. Oh, sick. Kitni seats extra lagani padegi hai? 1024 Oh my god, how the fuck did you even make that happen? That's got overcrowded, bro. Dream accomplished. But at what cost? It's just It's just uncomfortable for her too though. God, what she, she... cost her her life? Yeah. I love the abrupt change. That transition into the scene was crazy good. Okay, I'm ready for my scolding. Aap samjh gaye hoge yahan kyun bulaya gaya aapko? Ji mere hi sasur. Aap ye samajh lo hum wo nahi hai jo aaj tak aapko chetavni dete aa rahe hain. Hum kar denge jo karna hai. Hey yo. Ye mat samjhna. 
यहाँ से वापस जाके हिंदुस्तान हमसे बच जाओगे आप अभी इसी वक्त से अश्लील गाने बंद कर दो मैं अकेला ऐसे गाने गाता हूँ तुम दूसरे नहीं गाते पंजाब का लगभग हर कलाकार वैसे भी है yeah, right, why? भी पर हर बार अकेला मेरा नाम ही उछलता है क्यों मैंने वादा किया था ऐसे हल्के गीत नहीं बनाऊंगा सबसे लेके आज तक एक भी गीत नहीं बनाया गाए जरूर People lost. करने के बाद भी लोग मांगते हैं ही वही गाने मैं क्या करूं? जोर देते हैं खाड़ों पे तू वैसे गीत नहीं गाएगा ये पक्का नहीं kind of bro, they, they threatening with his life though. ये याद रखना हम धर्म के नहीं समाज के रक्षक हैं right. हम तो साल बनाएंगे पंजाब के नौजवानों के लिए Jesus Christ पहला वादा I wonder how urban artists Punjabi urban artists feel them शराब पीना छोड़ दोगे तीसरा मच्छी भी खाना छोड़ दोगे और सुना है कि तुमको बीड़ी का बड़ा शौक है तो तुम्हारा आखिरी वादा ये है आज से सिगरेट और बीड़ी दायम भी नहीं लगाओ और बीड़ी हे स्टॉप केयरिंग हिज इफ यू गोना इफ यू गोना डू दैट दो यू नीड सिक्योरिटी ही ऑलरेडी गॉट ही ऑलरेडी गॉट द डेथ थ्रेड्स या इफ यू गोना डू इट दो यू यू गोना हैव टू गेट इनसेन सिक्योरिटी ओह शिट उस दिन मुझे समझ आ गया चमकीला पागल हो चुका है can't take the art away from the artist they lose their mind yeah group ke baaki log bhi dar gaye the i guess he worked out for tiki though he's still alive mahol bana diya gaya chamki lage fuck oh he had he had attempted aapne use kaha kyun nahi ki abhi punjab wapas na aaye haan ji haan ji bilkul never come back brother badi tasalli ho rahi hai aap baat samajh rahe ho nahi ye to mujhe pura yakeen hai ki log bahut jaldi bhul jayenge पंजाब के अंदर कोई दूसरा चमकीला खड़ा हो जाएगा और जिंदा पाजी ने भी यही सोचा होगा यही कनाडा में बैठ के और ये बुरी बात भी है ओह माय गॉड लोग जलते हैं आपसे और इस वक्त कोई फायदा उठा लेगा ये जो चेतावनी है ना आप पर या मैन फक कम ऑन थिंक यू हैव अ चाइल्ड ही इज डेड चमकीले रुक जा भाई थोड़े टाइम के लिए रुक नहीं पाजी फक मैं रुक नहीं सकता अगर यही लिखा है तो ये होके रहे वो गोली मुझे लग के ही रहे द टेंशन बिल्डिंग इज जस्ट सो पावरफुल एंड द डबल बेस वो लोग किए मेरे साथ अच्छा है तेरे एक और होने वाला है शी वाज प्रेग्नेंट आह नो दैट्स रूड का तो काम है गोली चल ओह दे न्यू दे न्यू दैट वी आर गोना डाई टाइम मार के संता रहे ओह माय गॉड वाओ एवरी परफॉर्मेंस ही वाज रेडी फॉर अ पब्लिक एग्जीक्यूशन ब्रो द स्ट्रेस लेवल्स In some kind of way, she didn't have a choice. She made her choice, though. I respect that from them, though. I love this song. The tension building. Yeah, it feels like a bonfire, with chaos brewing. Yeah, man. You left. What Oh, oh no. I like the I like the snippets of reality here. <laughs> I picture turnips. <laughs> She's not pregnant anymore. Did I bait by <laughs> Glimps of your trip. <laughs> Glimps of your trips me out. She's not pregnant anymore. What the fuck so the kid? Obviously gave birth. So he never lost his kindness. His morality might have become jaded at some point. Oh, this is the ending, by the way. Himself for the art. Oh my God, this is so sad. The baby wasn't even a month old. Just like that as well, yeah. And she's the first one to go, which is the worst. It takes me by surprise every single time. I knew it was coming. Hey man, it's fucking Tumbi, bro. Went down together. But they kind of knew it was coming though. They knew they knew this their time was indeed timed. Yeah, I was going to say her, her family, parents hadn't yeah. hadn't seen her. Yeah, where's the little one? Where's the babies? Oh, 
सबर कर ला भैन सबर कर ला खत्म हो गया वीर जी सो टके के लोग हैं ये वरना लड़की इनकी यहां मरी पड़ी है सारा पैसा सारा सोना इकट्ठा कर ले लोग किसी को पता है किसी का पता तो उस तरह तो क्या मर गए ए एक मिनट एक मिनट Oh my yeah. god, those are real. Wow, that's so morbid. Oh, that is incredibly morbid. Guess what's in there? I knew it. Oh, I fucking knew it, man. Were they alluding that it was them? I'm not sure. There's Obviously, the movie is not sure either yeah, because it is. Karoji? <laughs> what a cute kid. No, this is very sad. What the heck? I knew he had a freaking sad ending, but. Say, who killed Cham Killer? They'll say whatever they have to say. Not the reporter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She'll say whatever she has to say. In some bizarre way, he immortalized himself. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I don't, fuck me. I don't understand what happened between him and Tiki so abruptly, though. I think he knew that the path where he was going to was gonna lead to death, ah, and that's why Tiki leaves. Right. So they isolate themselves. Uh, and he he, Chamkila never goes to chase him in the moment. That's right. That's right. He builds a new relationship with the taxman. Yeah. What a beautiful ending song. It's a bittersweet song though, because he's celebrating a life, but at the same time, you know, you are saying farewell. Chamkila's playing in the background. <laughs> Bro just goes back. <laughs> yes, sir. The movie. So he did get a chance to record his documentary or movie. Damn, unique as well. Well, he spoke to a whole generation of people. Their eldest son, Jamon, dresses like Chamkila and sings his songs in shows. Aww. Their second son could not survive without him. 15 days old. Believes that he, his curse killed Chamkila. He's often found repeating the same stories. Oh, he thought he was the curse. I love the usage of the original footage. It's so great. And they really try to replicate it one by one. Yeah. Look at that. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Chamkila's father died a drunk a few years later, still claiming that Chamkila was alive. Singh continued with his government job. Daka helped other artists. Kikar Devala is still trying to make it as a singer. Well, until today. You know it's coming because you obviously it began the yeah. movie like that. I think that the photo stuff really made it real though. Fuck me. Because I think it really gave like it gave gravity to what what it was actually happening. But I know this is kind of morbid to say it, but I, I I kind of like the fact that him and his wife really took it on. They knew what the ending was gonna be, but they forwarded, they shouldered it in such a gracious manner. It's it's incredible, honestly, how they really sacrificed themselves. It was an assassination. This that was an execution for sure. Well, um, it wasn't yeah. just random killing. Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't just like something. At a random they site hate everyone and no no no, no, no. It, it, yes. it was it was very targeted so from a quick google search um it says the truth behind the assassination of punjab's explicit singer he seemed to be one of the first to do such a movement ex yeah. exactly uh, you know to be singing for the people and um, the things that he saw of his own community explicitly and his co-singer amar jot punjabi singer surinder shinda gave an interview in which he touched on the death of amar chamkila and make some very th untruthful comments which gained some very distorted picture about what happened Happened, so maybe rumors started expanding right. out. These lustful singers need to realize that nothing lasts forever and their time. Fuck me, these articles fucked. With two members of the band, two members of the band, who was killed alongside two members of the band, obviously, same as Amar Jot, uh, and the assassination remains unsolved. It was alleged that Sikh milit militants were uh, responsible of the Punjab insurgency who were followers of the Khalistan movement. 
they were the ones that were thought to be responsible. Well, this theory was refuted by Chamkila's closest friend, Swarn Sivia, who investigated the murder independently. Uh, Sivia revealed that three Khalistani militant organizations targeted uh, Chamkila due to controversial songs, but he was able to act as a mediator. Sivir remains skeptical that Khalistan militants were responsible for his murder, saying, throughout my life, I have continued to investigate who was behind this killing. So even then... It literally could have come from anywhere. And he was, indeed, and it was Amit Trivedi who calls Chamkila uh, the Elvis of Punjab. <laughs> right. So that's what that was a reference to by the... By, by the film. By mm-hmm. the British... Yeah, 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 I think she was British, I don't know. She looked Indian as well, but she, she spoke all in English by the reporter. But she didn't she, speak in English. Yeah, it was all in English. The Elvis of Punjab. She said that to him in the scene. Oh, yeah, she does. When she starts talking mad shit yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. Before that, anyways. Yeah, before she becomes like a proper... Well, my pants are the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Although, it's a good point, though. What do you mean? In terms of, like, if you didn't know him, because obviously in the film we're following him really closely, personally, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think he was a, a man of principles in certain aspects. So... To see a woman in jeans it would have been a scandal to him, even though his his lyrics, his lyrics are scandalous. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's why that's, that's why that scene is so so interesting important. because it sort of shows that he's a very complicated individual. He's yes. a very again like most human nuanced. beings, nuanced and. Uh, and he lives in the shades of grey. But most importantly, that I think his explicitness, especially through the depiction of the movie, the explicit nature of his songs, very much like he, how it is in urban artists from South America, they're not necessarily vulgar individuals. They're just but they w- did grow up in a, in a world of exposure. vulgarity or, or explicit, mm-hmm. you know, because there is no other place to shower. You see women shower publicly or some shit or with tiny privacy or because, you know, the houses are so close together. You see your uncle seducing some woman. You're like, what the fuck? And you're five years old, ten years old, eight years old. It happens all the time. This happens a ton in the favelas. It happens a lot in like, uh, you know, El Barrio. So I, I understand it from that perspective. I would presume though, like if you're from the West, uh, th- this this would this be like scary. immensely shocking. I guess it could be misconstrued as just explicitness for the sake of being ex- explicit. But it's very much his reality. It's very much the reality for a lot of people. Well, I think that's the reason why this this particular character and the way that this movie has been directed carries such weight and mm. I think let's talk about the whole film and production and how it has been constructed from a foreigner's perspective that came in here blank or blind completely knowing absolutely nothing about the story nor where the film was going to take us yep. it was excellently carried from Great. the direction the timing the discombobulation of the time f- frame the, the framing of each its each scene I love the integration of reality with the fiction the biopic that we were being introduced That's quite into. Cool. But I, I think to sort of get a grasp and most importantly spark curiosity, wanting to learn more about uh, Amar Singh Chamkila is like a, what a perfect film to do so. Mm. And most importantly, it does play a huge part into, for example, from my perspective, an understanding of what Punjabi music has become. Correct. And interestingly enough, it's also one of the few genres in India that has been able to penetrate foreign markets in the way that Afrobeats have been able to do so in the way that reggaeton has been able to do so. Punjabi is another example that you get to hear. K-pop, I guess, is another one. I guess anime from Japan, J-pop, like those, those sort of uh, singers have been able to penetrate the market in that sense with that very much anime sound. But Punjabi is like probably the only one that you'll be able to name from India that everyone from the West will be able to know. Exactly, I think... That it, Tumbi sound, it's yeah, so yeah. highly recognizable by everyone. Ding-ling, ding-ling, ding-ling. Everybody knows it and I think it's, and it's incredibly correlated to India, like Correct. immediately. Also, I feel like this film was an incredible experience of the Punjabi culture, the the idea, the, the we got a cultural good, ideas, real close look, really right? Close. What it's sort of like to a certain extent to to Again, be there from a completely blind perspective. Uh, a very a very scratching the surface kind of kind of experience, but it's it's a very cool um, introduction into something that felt very realistic, very organic. I love the fact that a lot of the vocal takes were either live room recordings or equalized in a manner that sounded very organic to the shot. I also adore the fact that we had a lot of a cappella moments from both Diligit and, and Perinetti. Perinetti. I think the both of them having a bunch of a cappella moments, I think that's what really consolidated the the building of that relationship. That's the reason why you feel so strongly about those characters. I think both of their uh, of their work here from from an acting perspective, she, brilliant. She's been on fire brilliant. lately. Because she was an animal as well. Ah, okay. Um, Very we, cool. we have something special regarding animal. I don't think we're going to review that normally. 
uh, like uh, just sort of sit down and uh, have a look at the video. You guys will probably get that, but I'd like to do something special with that one. But I'd also like to do as as we keep proceeding, like uh, new, you know, a lot of the new modern, you know, sort of in the moment uh, releases because it, it's very rare that we get to uh, experience such things that are this modern and have this yes. amount of heat. The only like the it. only thing that could have been problematic, but I thought they approached it with grace and they very very well was the funeral scene. No, the the time jumps. Look, I, I call it the Christopher Nolan problem conundrum because he, when it works, it works outstandingly. But when it doesn't work, it's like, what the fuck, man? It's give me exhausting. A, give me a break, bro. Yeah. I don't want The Witcher 1. You know, <laughs> I don't want The Witcher Season 1. Fuck off. That was annoying to watch. I had to watch that three times because I like the actual concept of The Witcher. Or like, uh, you know, Christopher Nolan's The Bloody Inception movie. It's like, that's a great movie. It took me six goes to watch that for the first time. Yeah. I w kept falling asleep. I, <laughs> my my brain kept hurting. Not for me. But I like Christopher Nolan as a director. Anyways, on a new section where we section review right people's reviews. <laughs> let's have a look at Rotten Tomatoes. Last time we had a look at Google reviews for Carla. A brave in its stand on religious despots. Lazy when it clubs harassment with fun and equates censorship with all criticism. It is also beautifully acted and uses music in the best way a film can, making it memorable tribute to a folk hero. The Diljit Dosanjh film is a down the middle biopic, the opposite of what a character like Chamkila demands. I think that was always going to be an issue, right? Like when you try to make a biopic out of someone so important, people are going to have an issue with the cast. People are always going to have an issue with, look, the running time maybe was too short. You could have gone way more in depth. He represented other things. He had other values. You're actually diminishing his stuff. Then I also thought that probably the criticism of this, because this is very modern in a uh, modern critics, especially, you know, yeah, they... there's always the moral compass aspect of it, which is it's a fair question. It's a moral one. It's, it's fine to ask. Um, and then it's one of like, uh, you know, I, that's why I think they even themselves, they were fairly self-aware. That's why they added that jeans scene. That's why they added the, you know, what, just because he's fucking dead, he's a hero now, yeah, um, yeah, you yeah. know. So if these are the things you have an issue with, you know, like Lacey, when it comes to harassment, fun, equate censorship and all criticism, it's like, all right, cool. Now talk to me artistically about the fucking movie. Correct. What do you think about how like, it was handled like that was two point. That was two, two hours and a half of art. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. Now tell me the wrong things you had with the art, because I'm actually trying to dissect it and I don't know what was wrong with the art itself. I guess the messaging of the art you could have a problem with. Well, but then again... What does that say more about you than anything else? No, but then again, there's, there's reggaeton. I grew up listening to reggaeton. Yeah, <laughs> so, okay. I, I, look, man. It is not... Again, this, this could be quite controversial to say, but I, I don't think that's far-fetched in also terms of like... How, how it was portrayed in, in, in the film because I think it was t tastefully carried in terms of like what it represented for her as a woman mm -hmm. to be involved mm. in such a in such a genre the, the shame and the the backlash that she received from the community and, and you can sort of tell right by the by the change in the character correct because uh, that's why I think Paranetti I don't know if I'm mispronouncing her name I do apologize I call her Chopra I, I think that's why Miss Chopra I say that uh, that's, that's why Miss Chopra had such a like a <laughs> difficult role though because there is a change she's betrayed man he lies to her and you can see the the color leave her eyes she's now stuck here and she's a woman of fucking power bro like because she knows become a woman because she knows what's about to come and she knows it's gonna be difficult as fuck especially for a woman at that time singing those types of lyrics and then on top of that getting all the religion involved getting all the societal norms involved getting everything involved you're probably gonna end up dead and she did and she knew that and she made the pact for love which is fucking what admirable and i think that's the reason why i think i commented on the fact that this was gracefully carried yeah man from from both of them and i think the rest of the cast was phenomenal why people appreciate a man whose songs are very vulgar and filthy he even mentions striking his wife in one is beyond me he even makes fun of her body parts to further degrade her well that's going to be very interesting especially with the modern crowd right at the moment yes yes, yes. Uh, like they, uh, they... Why, why would you want to what would you call it, idolize. Again, you look at it purely through a moral lens. Um, art is very interesting in this sense. I, I, I'll let you know our, my, our thoughts because we're quite similar in that thoughts. Actually, I think I built my opinions based on Bali um, because Bali has had to study very fucked up art because it's theater, because it's dated art, because it's, uh, you know, it's fucking Shakespeare and it's uh, German art and it's Austrian, Russian, Russian and it's plain. Latin. And it's it's like uh, very interesting, but we'll go on to that in the end. I had high expectations from this given the great team behind it, yes. but 
within an hour, I knew it's not working for me. The main appeal of this biopic is how intriguing the central character is. Mm -hmm. And in this film, Cham Kila just didn't carry that charisma for me. Diligit Dosanjh tries, but there is no spark, no connection. All he does is try hard at looking innocent and lost in an autistic way. Oh, artistic way. <laughs> what the hell? What type of easy have you got? <laughs> <laughs> I did appreciate the storytelling ex experiments. Uh, the brilliant songs by A.R. Rahman, which again can well exist outside of the film, they just don't add to the narration in any fruitful way. Well, that Mohit Chauhan movie, f a song, fuck me, yeah. f uh, make it all very lived in and authentic. Agreed. Yes, I agree Some of the that. female singers who sing the Chamkila are good too. They look quite close to reality and they sound quite close to reality, I felt. Uh, however, the film does go down several notches just as Parinotra Chopra enters Parinetti. the frame. Parinetti, sorry. Yeah, we saw the pictures. Well, here's the thing. There's no here's earthiness the to her. Well, here's the thing. If you have experienced or seen the originals, there will always be a gap between the original and the interpretation. There, there's usually a gap about these things. I mean, that's exactly how a lot of people felt with the biopic for Selena when it came in the in the early '90s, in the early two that in the early 2000s. A lot of people thought that J Lo was the wrong cast. Mm. Uh, you know that she wasn't really doing justice. And a lot of things that like that would come into the picture. I think any time that you're going to do a biopic, there will be a gap because it wasn't the person and you're never going to come close so they, to where the person was. Let us know what you guys thought about it. And uh, I do hope you share your comments and your what thoughts. What is your review? Correct. Um, in the comment section below, if you're part of the Future Friday Movie Club, thank you so much for spending such an extended period of time or such an extended period of your life here with us. And uh, we, we hope at least you've learned something new. You've uh, at least uh, uh, looked at the art through a different lens. Um, it will be interesting to check out movies that perhaps are not usually our cup of tea. Um, we have been nothing but fair, I feel, especially in the last ones. Um, there have been a few gripes we've had, like Rockstar was one that was like very yes. obvious, you know, what they, what was wrong with it. Some of the few ones that I guess you can understand why people do not like them, like Kala was one of them. Yes. Uh, but they usually seem to be, which is quite interesting, similar as well to how the Latin crowd reviews movies and, and the series. Uh, the core morality and value of it seems to play a huge role. And I think we did not highlight that enough here where... You know, we grew up Roman Catholic, mate, like right. uh, very orthodox and uh, with a very relaxed family when it comes to Roman Catholicism, but societally very, very stiff, very especially from the female side. Yes. Um, and, you know, it is like Latin America and, uh, you know, we the vulgarities yes. of urban culture, even folk singers. And, you know, we call them uh, people who sing uh, llan llaneros like... Um, they're from the, the the big old plains. The lands, the, the plains, lands. so similar to the this. farmers. They they have incredibly crazy songs and yes. uh, songs about the land and sometimes worship songs, sometimes songs about the farm, the, 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 the their love for their wife, the intimacy of things. And then the people that then live in El Barrio, which is like, you know, the shanty towns, uh, uh, the favelas, urban culture grew and we developed our own style of things and weirdly it was very vulgar and immensely it, vulgar and like 10 still, times worse than this <laughs> for real and even today the, the the genre remains incredibly explicit and vulgar and it became even crazier when females mm -hmm. female artists started, started taking in but they were always part of it they were never the little, like, they were never pushed oh, away by gonna, it. Or playing coy in the picture. Not Urban either. culture welcomed them. Yes. Like, it wanted them to be part of it. But the Catholic and the, the extremely religious part of the community... That does not go, son. ...is still very against go, it. Go, go pray your three Hail Marys and... Yes, even though God, it's... ...you know, hey, hey, all fathers. <laughs> yeah, and even though it is widely accessible now and reception and the tolerance for reggaeton and the explicitness of the genre is uh, very well tolerated now i remember the beginning of the early 2000s how big of an issue this was it was banned in certain catholic schools it was frowned it's upon banned to in ours. See. yeah it was <laughs> it was frowned upon to to uh, let your children be exposed to that type of, of art um, the corruption of, of the soul and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. So in terms of what the cultural impact of a singer like Chamlika had... Chamkila. In, Chamkila on, in the Punjabi state, it's similar to what would have happened in the early 2000s for us in Latin America. So perhaps 
that's why weirdly we did not see it as such a cultural shock. It would be interesting to see how other sort of, you know, have people that completely grew in the UK or grew up in the UK or, you know, in the US. Um, or where that, people that grew up religious in the Punjab religious, state. To see how they would have received this or how they would have received Chamkila's music at the time. Goodbye. Bye, have a great time.